One of the most blatant lies of the EV proponents is that the electricity grid will just magically absorb an entirely electric fleet of vehicles without batting an eyelid. She'll be right mate is the attitude here, because when you actually start to look into it and consider it carefully, the conclusions you'd reach are so painful that you'd wish you hadn't looked in the first place. And this ostrich trick is what the US Environmental Protection Agency is doing right now deluding itself and the government into believing that everything will be fine when we add millions of EVs, a net zero transition and thousands of AI data centres to a grid that is already creaking and in some states barely functioning. But as with everything in the EV and net zero world, it's all complete fantasy. And in this video, we shall see that those who are far better placed to understand reality than the environmental activists at the EPA tell a very different story and it's one the planet will not be able to continue avoiding for much longer. Welcome back to MGuy, British engineer and lawyer, now Sydney-based YouTuber. Be sure to follow me on the usual socials for more content, links in the description, and please make sure you're subscribed and have enabled all notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos. The EPA is an environmental activist organisation in disguise, which foists its own brand of environmental extremism on the long-suffering American public. Thankfully, and in a related story this week, it had its wings clipped by the Supreme Court as the Chevron deference rule, which had given administrative agencies like the EPA massive powers to impose regulations at will without any congressional approval, was finally and thankfully smacked down, and not a minute too soon. But this environmental extremism drives the EPA's delusional belief in EVs and the transition to net zero or the future, and that the grid can accommodate them without skipping a beat. Unfortunately, this is just rubbish. Exclusive how Biden's EV invasion could hit a roadblock by 2035. The Biden administration's EV invasion by 2035 could hit a roadblock with America's already stressed power grid, experts have warned. That is because America's electrical network has not been updated in over 25 years and is in need for more transmission lines to power millions of new green energy powered vehicles, all of which could cost more than $2.5 trillion. The demand for power will account for about one third of electricity growth within the next decade, as Princeton University projected the nation will use up 3,360% more electricity to meet the president's goal. In our projections, EVs cause electricity demand in the transportation sector to grow between fivefold and tenfold by 2035, an EIA spokesman told DailyMail.com. There were roughly 2.4 million registered EVs in the US at the end of last year, which isn't enough to overwhelm the electrical grid yet, but could cause major problems in the future if the infrastructure isn't updated, experts warn. The International Energy Agency's Global EV Outlook predicted that EV sales could reach 17 million in 2024, and projects that electric vehicles will likely account for half of all cars sold by 2035. Ah yeah, but this is all just scaremongering, isn't it, by a bunch of Luddites and technophobes. Oh wait, what's this? IEEE Spectrum, a publication of the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, published a report on EV transition in 2023 that found that 8,000 power generation units and 600,000 circuit miles of AC transmission lines will need to be replaced or improved by 2035. In addition to 70,000 substations to support increased renewable energy and battery storage, bringing the cost to more than 2.5 trillion. Ah yeah, electrical engineers, what the hell would they know anyway about the electricity grid? And it's not like the grid is coping particularly well even now, and forecasts for growth in the next few years are staggering. Electricity demand in states like Georgia has surged to record highs, ranking it among the top 10 states for total energy consumption. In 2022, Georgia Power projected the state would see an energy demand growth of 400 megawatts for all electrical needs between 2023 and 2030, but it revised its estimates for the next seven years, stating it will see a growth of 6,600 megawatts, 17 times more than its previous forecast. The Arizona Public Service has also projected it will max out its transmission capacity before the end of the decade. A 2023 study by the California Public Utilities Commission revealed that the state will need to spend $50 B 
billion dollars by 2035 in electric grid updates to meet its EV targets. Last year, the total electricity demand in the US was 3,800 billion kilowatt hours, but that number is expected to grow to between 4,200 and 4,300 by 2035, with EVs accounting for about one third of the total growth, the EIA reported. We'll come back to the EPA's response in a minute, but in a related story, it transpires that EV charging stations are struggling to get the electricity connections they need. Grid utility limits are biggest barrier to commercial EV charger deployment, Zendee survey. A majority of EV charger developers and operators say they've run into roadblocks when trying to access power from the grid. 75% of electric vehicle charging station developers and operators say electric grid limitations present a significant barrier to deploying commercial EV charging infrastructure, according to a survey released 13th June by Endeavour Business Intelligence and Zendi, an EV charging and microgrid design services provider. A large number of Zendi's clients have been unable to secure the energy they need for their projects and have resorted to installing fossil fuel powered generators to run their chargers, according to Michael Stadler, Chief Technology and Marketing Officer at Zendi. Most developers of EV charging infrastructure have had trouble securing electricity for their projects in recent years, Stadler said. Electric grid limitations topped Zendee's survey of EV charging developer pain points for the second year in a row. Zendee first launched the annual survey in 2023. Would-be EV charging station developers have increasingly found that they are unable to procure adequate electricity from utilities, Stadler said. Many have been unable to get information they need about the grid's capacity from utilities in a timely fashion, and some regions have seen electricity prices spike above economic levels, Stadler added. Time of use rates and power charges are a really big problem, he said. If you end up paying more for electricity than gas, then something is wrong. Yep, that will be those demand charges kicking in which add a huge financial penalty if you exceed your maximum power draw at any time during your billing cycle, even for a few minutes. All it takes is a few EVs pitching up to charge simultaneously, and if you haven't got your electricity management system running properly, you can trigger a demand charge in the blink of an eye. But back to the original article, and despite the above first-hand experience of grid difficulties for EV charging, who are you going to believe, your lying eyes or the EPA? The Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, told DailyMail.com that the rise in EVs won't impact the electric grid, claiming it will only increase generation from the electric power sector by approximately 1% in 2030, 9% in 2040 and 12% in 2050. The agency added that the electrical grid has sustained all updated technology, such as using more residential and commercial air conditioning in the 1970s through the 1990s, saying that it shows our energy system is up to the task of meeting additional demand. Yep, let's just hope for the best and anyway we'll all be retired or dead before the consequences of our environmental extremism hit the poor long-suffering public. And comparing the scale of today's ludicrous net zero policies and the rise of AI to a few extra air conditioners 50 years ago is a complete joke. As usual, the reality is that grids are struggling already for many reasons, including the unpredictability of renewables and the retiring of reliable gas and coal that in the past could be used to keep the grid stable. For the EPA to say with a straight face that the grid will simply cope with AI and net zero is delusional in the extreme. It looks like the worst of both worlds will collide, with unreliable renewables being pushed at exactly the same time as massive demand for electricity increases. So we should be prepared for blackouts and electricity shortages in the years to come, unless governments around the world open their eyes and come to their senses.